Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Crump here. Today, I wanted to make another follow-up video for the video that I released yesterday, which was install Xenia Canary build on a retail Xbox One to play Xbox 360 games. So if you followed through this tutorial, you eventually got to this point right here, which allowed you to download the Xenia Canary build on your retail Xbox One. Now, fast forward to today, what we found is that this link or the link to the store has now been removed. And what they've decided to do is to just post the update inside of their Discord. Now, if we look over at their Discord, what we can see is that the Canary 1.00 update 2 fix came out and it gives some instructions on how to do that, which I'm going to walk you through in just a moment. But what you will need to do is you will need to come in here and to download this file. And of course, eventually they will re-release this for the store. So this video is going to really be for those that downloaded the Canary build already to their Xbox One. So if you've done that, then the rest of this video will make absolute sense. If you didn't, I don't have any real recommendations for you at the moment. Now they do have a Patreon that you can get a private store link, but for the most part, if you just wait, there will be a public store link. So let's look at how you can update your Xenia Canary build manually to update to. And also just keep in mind that we won't be using Durango FTP because that app has also been removed from the store. So we will be using another application, but don't worry, I've got you covered. Okay, so you probably know the drill at this point. Go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And this time, we're going to go to the URL called mcrump.me slash fe. And basically, that just stands for File Explorer. Once you do that, let's go ahead and press the Go button here. And that will take you right over to this application called Advanced File Explorer. So let's click right here where it says Get in the App Store. And then from here, we're going to select Get and then Free. And we're going to go ahead and check the installation progress. Now we'll just let this finish downloading and we'll go from there. Okay, so it is finished now. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to launch that. Okay, so just go ahead and close out of this screen right here. If you went ahead and you were able to install the Canary build through the link, then really what you need to do is you just need to update it. So go ahead and insert the USB drive into your Xbox One. So come up here and we're going to press this menu bar right here and we're going to go to removable devices and we're going to go to my D drive right here. And from here, let's go ahead and let's navigate over to Retail Canary, Fix, Update 2. And then from here, down at the bottom, you'll see this little check mark. Make sure that you select it and then come up here and then place a check in this file. And now on the controller, we're going to press the button that has the little three lines in it and we're gonna go down to where it says copy right here. Now we're gonna come back up to the star icon and we're gonna to go to local and then we're gonna to go to packages and you will need to go ahead and turn that back off down at the bottom. So go into packages and it's gonna be this one right here that starts with a 63830. So go into that and now go into the local state and then from here, we're just going to simply paste that. And we're just going to select replace the file in the destination. And now that is complete. So we'll hit close there. So now if we head back to our home and we go to the Canary build, now you'll see that we don't have those problems that we were having yesterday. And here is all of the files. So again, this was not working yesterday. So we'll just go ahead and we'll pick Golden Eye yet again. Okay, and if you see this kind of zoom effect as we have right here, the problem with that is, is that we need to change the resolution to 1080p. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's just fix that now. We're gonna go to our settings 
TV and display options. And right here where it has a resolution of 4K UHD, we're gonna simply change that to 1080p. We're going to keep that resolution. And now we're gonna go back to the main menu. And if the application is running, I would make sure that you just go ahead and just quit back out of it. And then you can load it back up again. We're gonna to go to our USB drive and then back over to GoldenEye and run the default.xex again. Okay, and there it is, and the resolution problems that we just saw just a moment ago are absolutely gone now at this point. Okay, so here is GoldenEye yet again with Canary Build on the very latest. This is such a superior version of this game. And yes, I am speed running through this level to see if it crashes upon breaking this lock as it has in the past. And well, it looks like you can now get past that lock that before the game was having some difficulties with. We'll also just go ahead and try NCAA 2K14 since I have been trying that since the very beginning. Okay, and as we can see here, the text is fixed. So now we can see that it does say Nike Skills Trainer as well as one button mode if you watched my video on Sunday. So let's go in and let's start a game and let's see if some of the black backgrounds has been fixed. Okay, so this one still has a bit of issues, but at least we can see there's already been progress in just like two days so far. Yeah, this one is still not playable. Okay, and so that is pretty much going to do it today. Again, this is a very developing project. I just wanted to share with you what I have learned because it took me some time to figure out. If this video helps, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!